Hello, hello, everyone. We are back. I am here um, at the DD Podcast. I'm your host and creator of the DD Podcast. OMG, hello, Simone or Simone. And I'm super excited because I have Frankie with the list with me, aka Frankie. Yes, yes. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. Yes, I'm excited you're here. Thank you for having me. I'm super happy to have you. So let's get started. Like, you have a project coming out, an mm-hmm. album coming out. Yes, ma'am. Um, called Cry Baby. Yes. So tell me about that. Tell me about the name. Tell me about the project. Okay. So Cry Baby, honestly, I've been sitting on, and I've had the idea for Cry Baby for a really, like, for, like, a while. I specifically wanted this to come out for, like, July because July to me is, like, cancer season. July yes. is my birthday month. So I just feel, I always feel, like, really, like, like my 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 greatest in like July, like I just feel like a like a chance of like transformation type thing. Okay. So cancer cancer season, everybody call us cry babies. Yeah. So it was just so it's that's just yeah, it's from. just all dedicated to to love and emotions and passion. Yes, all in one. Absolutely. Um. So when it comes to your album mm-hmm. and the song, how many songs are on the album? Ten. Ten. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite song on the album? Um, it would have to be the intro, which okay. is called One Eight Hundred Cry Baby, or Nita. Okay. Yeah, I love me some Nita. Is there one that you prefer over the other, or you like them the same? Um, they both give off different vibes, so okay, I so really can't. I really can't say if I really can't say a favorite. I feel like Nita is about. Nita is really, really about like, I I put basically like an instruction on. Like, I, I, you want a real one, you want some love or whatever. I'm giving, and Nita, I feel like I'm just giving the instructions on how to love me. Mm, the perfect okay. the perfect person for me is this, this, and this. So it's this like what a you, guide. Yeah, this is what you got to do. That's it. Where you at? Okay. And then 1-800-CRY-BABY is about, like, being, it's like a heartbroken song. Okay. So it's really just kind of like, it's like a voicemail, me kind of like telling, telling a nigga off, like, but I'm hurt. Mm. It's like, you know. So it's 1-800-CRY-BABY mm-hmm. is basically like, if you don't follow the need a guide, what could happen, possibly? Yeah, kind of, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But okay. you, get, you get the soul side. I feel, I feel like it's cancer. I don't know if it's a cancer thing or maybe it's just a me thing. Like, I'm very sweet. And then once you, like, do me wrong and you cross me, I'm, mm-hmm. like, on my bully. Okay. Yeah. I see. I'm going to assume that's a cancer thing. I'm, like, super excited to hear these tracks and hear the album i'm excited for people to hear them i really can't wait for the feedback so when can we expect the album when is it coming out it's on the 13th so wednesday okay mm-hmm. so yes definitely gotta tap into that um when it comes to your project mm-hmm. what would you say was the hardest part about like making it i would say that i've experienced a lot in them in the time that i've made it uh I, I was in the studio with a lot of my friends like the Everybody who was around during the studio sessions, they've been around for the entire, like, six, seven months that I've been making the project. Mm -hmm. So it's really all about, like, vibes. I go in there, and I'm, like, I basically, like, express how I'm feeling or what Mm -hmm. I've been going through. So I would say that it took a lot of emotion for a couple, a lot of the songs. I was very, like, emotional. Mm -hmm. Um, And I kind of, like, bear, I, I, when when it comes to music and stuff like that, writing, singing, anything, like, I really, like, bear my soul into it. Mm -hmm. Whether it's I sound happy mm. or I'm sad, I'm I'm bearing my soul on it. You yeah. hear me like it's it's real genuine energy like in the moment type thing. Yes, and that's the real you. That's the mm-hmm. raw you. Yes. Um. So when it comes to that and it comes to making the music, mm-hmm. um, tell me a little bit about your process. Like when you're making a song or writing a song, like yeah. How do you get that started? My writing process is very strange. I feel like not strange, but I write very fast. Depending okay. depending on it, like I can write a I can write a a hook and a verse for a song in like ten minutes. Oh wow! Depending on like how I'm feeling, if the beat is right, I'll be like, oh yeah, I know exactly what you I'm get right to say. it. Um, <laughs> sometimes I like to go with concepts because I don't like to just be like saying this and that just like in a in a song. Like I like everything to like be on a specific subject or be around a subject. Mm-hmm. Um, vibe gotta be right. Good people in the room. Good weed. I gotta be. I can't be hungry. If I'm hungry, no, I, like, I can't focus. <laughs> um, just good energy. Like, yeah. I need good energy. I like to feed off of my friends and their energy. Um, 
It's always a vibe in the studio. You got to come. You got to yes, come one day. I definitely, yeah. definitely am excited. I want to do that for yeah. sure. No, um, you're welcome. You're definitely welcome to come anytime. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm going to hop on the track. Uh, I'm with it. I had Smooth <laughs> on the track. <laughs> yeah, don't shush me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I definitely want to I'm going to hop on it yeah I need something <laughs> I got you um, so when it comes so we talked about writing your writing mm-hmm. process what is your opinion to those who do ghost writing mm-hmm. or have ghost writers like how do you feel about that um I can't say that I shy off of like well being like oh I'm like I'm against somebody having a ghost writer I personally do not have anybody writing my music I play a song for somebody, they'd be like, You wrote this? Yeah, I wrote it. <laughs> Who else wrote it? Who else it? will write it? Yeah. <laughs> I write my own I write my own stuff. I love that. Um, but I don't I don't shy from other from people having um ghostwriters. Cause yeah. you know, sometimes sometimes you do get stuck yeah. in those moments and you're like, all right, yo, what should I say? Like, what rhymes with this? Yes. Yeah. Something, you know, something yeah. little. It's it's fine to have people in it, but I personally don't think I could have somebody write a song for me and then me me sing it because I know how I feel about my music when mm-hmm. I'm singing it. Mm-hmm. So unless I really feel it, I don't think I could do it. Mm. Okay. But I'm not against it. I'm not no. against it. I'm really not against it. Yeah. I'm sure one day, like, if I nigga sign a deal or whatever, they could be like, all right, we're going to have a couple people in the room helping you. I think I would... I would be hesitant at first, but I'm, I'm open to all types yeah. of things. It would be... A new experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. down for new experiences. I'm down for yeah. opening my horizons, broadening my horizons. But yeah. nobody writes my music. I love that. Yeah. I love, love, love that. So tell me a little bit about how you guys got started. How did you know you could do this? How did you know you could rap, sing, do all of this, write your own music? I've since I was a little kid. Like I've. Oh, that's like what I always wanted. I always mm-hmm. wanted to make music. I was like, I'm gonna be a star. You, you ask my mom. I always used to be like, I'm gonna be a star. I'm gonna be on a stage. Mm-hmm. Anything. I started off um, acting, like in plays mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Um, okay. Shout out our fellas, Playhouse in Middletown. I was there since I was like 10. Oh, wow. Shakespeare plays, musicals. The last show I did, I was casted as a scarecrow in The Wiz. Oh, wow. But okay. um, that was around the time my, my father was really sick and he mm. and he passed and um, I just couldn't finish, I couldn't mm. finish the play so I just wasn't, I wasn't, I couldn't do it. But I found music that same year. Mm. I always used to like write in my notebook and my dad was always like, my dad was a DJ and promoter for a really long time. He was like, oh, we can, I can get you in the studio. But I was like, nah. Mm-hmm. But then, I don't know. I was hanging out with some friends. They had a studio. I got in the studio, and I was like, no, this sounds kind of good. <laughs> and then I've been obsessed with it. I just... Ever since. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Now that I have it, and I've been, I've always gotten really good like support and mm-hmm. good feedback, even when I like didn't really know what I was doing. Yeah. So it just kind of like I can't now that I'm doing it, I can't picture myself doing anything else. Exactly. It seems like this is like, you, this is you. Like yeah. it's not some like a side hobby or no, anything like that. No, no. Like, I think about this your music, all the time. Everything like this is you. Yeah. So like, how? Tell me about how. Um, how long have you been rapping? Like, how long have you been? I know you said six years. Okay. Yeah, like six six, six years. years. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. I feel like it's been six years that I've been making music, but I can say that I've been taking it serious for three years. Okay. Three years, like I've been like really like out outside doing stuff, being around, yeah. networking. Yes. Um, getting features, get, getting content done. Image wise, all that like it, it take it's a process for anybody. Yeah. Um, but I could I could say six six years in total I've been doing it. Okay. Wow. That's like not a long time, but yeah. a long time long enough. Yeah, it is long to enough to have the skill. To na- to to where I am now, like exactly. I feel like it's perfect timing. Exactly. Um, so you talked about networking mm-hmm. and having features. Who has been your most favorite person to work with and who would you like to work with in the future? Like, out here or, like, just in general? It could be in general. It could be out here. Um, my favorite person to work with, that's hard. I have a lot of, I have a lot of like, really good features. I would say that me and my friend Gail Salvo, mm. she's a rapper. She's from New Haven. Okay. I feel like me and her work the best. Shout out to her. Yeah, that's, like, one of my, like, that's one of my sisters, like, 
music wise, we we inseparable. Like she on the same path, mm -hmm. she on the same like grind. I don't. We work really great together. You know, it's not you know how like a lot of people like especially yeah. female rappers, it's always like some weird like animosity yeah. or jealousy. Like never no, that. Nev never ever ever that. I love that. Always good. Always supportive. I, it's like I'm I sing but I rap sometimes. Mm -hmm. She rap but she sings sometimes. Okay. So it's like we like are just when match we, perfectly. Yeah, we, when we mesh, we mesh. Okay. And but she's on an album. She's on two tracks on Cry Baby. What tracks are those? Four one one is the second. No, it's the third track, and she's on the last track. Love it. Yeah. Definitely gotta tap into her. And yeah. those two tracks. Yeah, she hard. She's hard. You so know. who would you like to work with in the future that you haven't gotten the opportunity to? Like anybody, like, like it could a, be. We'll do anybody, mm -hmm. and then one CT artist. CT artist. I'm gonna think about that one. Okay. Anybody? Mm -hmm. I would say I want to work with Tori, or yes. Frank Ocean. I know Frank Ocean and Future is like that would be dope. Then wouldn't that mean that's like a one in a million <laughs> opportunity? That's a lot lottery pick, but no, that's a fact. But I'm coming for that. Um. City artist is hard because I feel like I worked with a lot of people. Yeah, so we can we can table that. Yeah, one. I was about to say that one. <laughs> that one I really gotta think about. I wasn't ready for that one. Yeah, we can table <laughs> that one. Um, so the album is called Cry Baby. Mm -hmm. When was the last time that you cried? Like a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> I be crying, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll cry watching a. Uh, TikTok about some some puppies. I don't. I'm, yeah, I'm emotional. Yeah. I'm an emotional person. No, and that's not a bad thing. No, no, it's not. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. I think my emotions make me who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very aware of myself because of my emotions. Like I know how I'm feeling. I know why I feel a certain way. It's all a reason, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and feeling is like being a person. Like, yeah. That's how when you, people are like, oh no, nah, I don't want to cry. Why not? If you want, yeah. if you if you gotta cry, cry. Yeah. Everybody, that's natural, natural stuff. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um. So, how long would you say it took you to make this project? Like in total, how um, long have you been working on it? Since like January. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a good amount of time. Yeah. Six six solid months. In the studio every so week. So this this is gonna be a quad. This is quality yes. work. All like. in the same, all <laughs> in the same place. Pretty much all the, literally every song besides one song is by the same producer. Shout out Black Friday. Mm. That's my main. That's yes, my main producer. Um, the only other person that produced on the on the on the project was um, John Dillinger, okay. Dilly. And he he owns a, the stew in uh, Enfield, which is the place that I've been recording at. Okay. So I felt like it was only right to add him to it, and I really I really like his work. So everything everything sounds good. The quality is a one. Okay. Um. So you're gonna do something special for us. Yes. I've um, been preparing. You've been preparing. Yes. Um. I've never had anyone freestyle on the show before, so okay. I'm like super excited. Yeah. So we could get started with that. I okay. can't wait to hear, like, I let's you. do this. Yeah. Baby on the beat, about to drop an album, you should play it on repeat. Give me what I want, cause he said I'm what he needs. You do what you can, but I do as I please, bitch freeze. Trying to make the neck icy. Lonely at the top, I am all I see. I'm a view with a view, puffing on my trees. The supplement I'm taking got me feeling my tea. I'm blessed, you don't gotta say it when I sneeze. I'm the best, diamond in the rough, pressure P. Got him going down, cause I ain't around MJB. 5% tent, so you got a NYB. I'm good in the hood, smooth in NYC. Thinking juicy bitch, fruit punch, high C. Think jacuzzi whips, I'm a wavy little bitch. All my bitches out here eating, we all out here getting rich. I don't need a nigga for really nothing, but if he got something, I might have to go and see what it's about. Yes, I am the best, know you heard that word of mouth. I write real.
real fast but the pen is in my left hand if he got me then you know that nigga is the best man spoil me and my music he invest in damn i smoke too many woods i think i need a chest scan this little kitty got powers like an x-man i can't help if you hate me for something i was destined think i'm about to rap r&b got me depressed and i've been singing about my ex for years can i move on hope that all my heartbreaks don't sound like all the same songs if i'm right and they wrong why they keep on talking to me grab the windex see through used to walk into me now you see me public places and my face and talking to me i need about six feet keep it cautious with me i can't breathe the same air as you bitches you too broke for me i'm your nigga ig crush i'm who you supposed to be i'm still quarantining you can't get too close to me she think that she better she ain't got as many flows as me i'm about to wrap this up but i'm smoking out of raw our future wolf gang bad bitch gonna fuck them all smelling so good have that nigga slipping all about his drawers fuck me right you get one strike like a bowling ball yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Cry baby dropping July 13th. Period. Stream that shit. Replay that shit. Repeat that shit. Yeah. Period.